Create the pillars, grow the pillars, become something with the pillars. Good morning. Hi. Okay, so we got a newspaper article sent from my mama back home. Good morning. Power of bike community pedal power. Okay, so awesome article. Already snipped, already clipped, ready to go. Good morning. So here we have it. It's in the SF Chronicle. And it's talking about bikes, bike facilities in the city. The city by the bay. So there's a couple key definitions in the article here. Good morning. Okay. One of them, Sheryls. Sheryls stand for share the road arrows. Basically stamps on the roadway of a bike with a little arrow in front of it that's outside the door zone and allows you to kind of share the road with cars. It's meant for low volume streets and connecting bike ways. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Next term, protected bikeway. Like the one seen here. Basically creating a buffer between the bike lane. Good morning. These are good, but that buffer needs to be strong. Especially if you're gonna expect kids to ride in that, in that bike lane, that protected bike lane. The next is a bike corral. Oh, auto enthusiasts hate these because it's basically a parking lot for bikes, but it takes up a car spot that would normally be like for metered parking, so right on the street. Good morning, hey. And the last word of the day is green waves. Okay, green waves are fucking awesome! Whoa! Green waves allows for the traffic signal to go green at about 12 miles an hour so that bicyclists can actually make the lights. So especially in a city like San Francisco, it's great to have them all timed so the cyclists can shoot right through, not just the vehicles like they plan for it. Here in the city of the vine, that's a seg.